And producers oftentimes have a, a lot of questions in their mind about uh, what should I be doing about mineral supplementation? And I would tell you, uh, quite frankly, amongst nutritionists, mineral nutrition is probably one of the toughest things to get our hands around. Uh, mineral consumption by cattle can be frustrating. Uh, oftentimes, uh, the cattle, we think that they maybe they need mineral and they won't eat it. Other times, we think and we don't, we don't understand why they would be eating it to the way they are. So uh, there's, there's a lot of science. We, the the new mineral requirements are well documented. But I would tell you, at least in my mind, range nutrition, range mineral nutrition is one of the, the toughest things to get your hands around. I think it's a good practice by and large to have a mineral supplement out there, free choice. Um, cattle don't have nutritional wisdom. In other words, uh, they, don't, they can't separate the need for phosphorus, for calcium, for magnesium. And quite honestly, a lot of the minerals, if we tried to feed them uh, as a standalone, uh, they are very unpalatable. They may be bitter. Uh, they may have a bad taste, and so even if a cow were to need it, uh, she probably wouldn't eat it because of the, the bitterness or the, the unpalatability, the lack of palatability of that particular supplement. So uh, we put things in a mineral supplement to enhance uh, intake. Uh, one of those things oftentimes that we put in there is salt. Uh, so we put the salt in there to, en to enhance intake and at the same time maybe to be a little bit of an in intake limiter. So I think it's a good thing to have a mineral supplement out there, free choice. Uh, there's different uh, mineral requirements as you go from east to west and perhaps from north to south. Mineral requirements uh, and mineral content of the forage is different as you go from the Panhandle to the Gulf Coast and as you go from the Sabine River uh, to far west Texas. And so I think it's important that you visit with a nutritionist in the area, uh, be that uh, somebody from Texas AgriLife Extension Service, uh, maybe a nutritionist with your local feed company uh, with which you have a good rapport, but visit with somebody about the needs and the mineral needs in your particular program and your particular cow herd. Uh, certainly, you know, one of the, several of the indicators that we might look for, uh, if reproductive performance is not up to speed where you need it to be, uh, if weaning weight, uh, milk production of those cows or weaning weight of those calves is not what's, not at least not average for the area. If you're having health problems in those cows or in those calves, Certainly, I think one of the places to start looking as a fix would be to look at your mineral supplementation, mineral nutrition program.